Now I've got a free window if I keep moving to move the club on the correct arc all the way around. Yeah. Hey, we hit a nice power cut. Yeah, it was good. And then it got to the apex and then fell to the right. Thanks for watching. We have the driver out. Milo is probably most famous of everything for your impact and also your drives. You're uh, five foot four, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just tall enough yeah. that my feet reach the ground every day. No, M Milo is like five, nine and a half. And, um, but he hits it the length of a six foot six man, if not more. Because uh, yeah, he's, he's actually been working on speed quite a bit this, this summer. And you've gotten your ball speed up in the low 190s. I've hit 196 with a normal swing mm -hmm. and 201 with my crazy swing, mm -hmm. the one where I do this. Yep. But, yeah. Those speeds will be down a little bit here because they're actually doing this video in the rain. Okay, so what this video is about, very important video. We're going to talk about building more speed with your driver. Something that happened to me has forced me into some changes that I've been meaning to make, but now like I better make these changes or I'm going to like end my career as a golfer and I'm just going to be like a guy that talks about golf only and I don't want to do that. And uh, so we're going to talk about that, and then we're going to talk about how this relates to everybody with building more speed. Milo, hit one, uh, I think you can only hit it about 290 carry right now, with, uh, because we're on a short Porsche here, here at the, at the, uh, the Grand, because so we're teed seat. up. So just, yeah, hit a, hit a drive for us, and then we're going to talk about what, uh, what happened to me and everything. Wow. Six and a half hour drive from Arizona. First drive of the day, and he hit the exact number that I wanted. I don't have TrackMan going, but I would say that, that, that it was about 300 yard carry on the button. Would you say you can always, you can tell? I would have carried about 305 at home, so probably about 295 here. Okay, great. What happened to me, I hurt my right arm really badly. Uh, I was doing a go some golf videos and things like that, and it, I was having like a nagging pain, and then I got like an acute, really bad pain in my, in my wrist in this direction. And then it lit up my whole right arm and my right arm was effectively unusable. I was not really able to swing anything more than a chip shot for about a month and a half. And uh, Zach come out here. So this is, this is Zach Gully. So Zach is Milo's uh, trainer. So talk a little bit about this isometric routine and, and especially if people have like this elbow pain, how to get over that, Zach. Yeah, so, so tendon issues, typically we need to address that by loading um, with longer hold duration isometrics. Okay. So with you, we went with the approach of making you do some isometrics. Your foot, your foot, Milo, uh, just leave it there. So the stuff that we were doing, and we'll do, Zach and I will do a full video on this, but basically I was holding in this flipping direction for 30, right? And then I was holding in this hinging direction for 30. Then I was going, if I don't have a wall, I go like this and I, I go in this direction for 30. Then I go in the thumbs up direction yeah, for so 30. We, we want right. to hit all the different motions of the wrist, the, the six different ones. And then the twist, and then the anti-twist. And then Dr. Jaime told us about this one that I thought was, was genius, where I just, either if I'm feeling not that healthy, I just let it drop and catch it and stop that motion. And this was huge for me, especially in this, this area. And if I am feeling healthy and I want to get become more bulletproof with it, I actually throw it down and stop it. And that was, so what, what's happening when we're doing this that makes people more bulletproof in, uh, you're in, just in the right arm? the isometric or the, the eccentric pattern of the motion a lot quicker. That like sudden breaking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so earlier when we're holding isometric, you're just trying to fight against mm -hmm. an immovable mm -hmm. object. And that type of instance, the eccentric is when the muscles or the tendons essentially are lengthening yeah. while they're contracting, um, which is where the muscles are most uh, load tolerant. So that helps us to load the tissue in that way rather than just doing a concentric like shooting right. all the time. Yeah, when I had only done, because my arm has hurt me for years, and when and I have done other stuff where it was just like basically taking a weight and going this and that way, and I didn't see the results that I did with doing isometric things and these sudden stop things. Thank you so much, Zach. Yeah. Since I've been doing videos with you now three and a half years or something mm -hmm. like that, talk about what I was doing before and why that would hurt my right arm and, and also keep me from being fast. You would have a tendency to fire your pelvis up, your arms would kind of drop behind, chest really closed, and now the only direction you could go is out away from you. So right. the, the moment, momentum of this club pulls your right arm completely yes. so like- so go right there. I would sometimes, right here, I would feel a yank on me. 
It's like, and I was like, ooh, I'd be a good shot. I'm like, ah. Because it's hyperextending you this direction. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where, so what we need to have is we need to sequence things more correctly. So now you've got a clear window to get the golf club to go around over there. Correctly is a little vague. What do you mean? Well, What's I mean, different? the club can't be so far behind you, your chest so closed off and your hips in kind of this position. Yeah, and show me a face on how, how slid you are with the pelvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind of a look. Now all I've got is out to first right base. Right arm punch Right force. arm punch out to the right. Mm -hmm. Where what we want to do different, so I'll do it down the line and face on. We want to arrive where our shaft is kind of parallel to our target line. So is our chest when we reach this position six or shaft last parallel. Now I've got a free window if I keep moving to move the club on the correct arc all the way around. Yep. From face on, that looks mm -hmm. like this. Bang versus. This thing has been somewhat of a blessing in disguise because I would not really feel it during normal golf, but anytime I tried to do like, okay, I'm going to get faster and this, today's my speed training day, but it felt exactly like playing baseball when, you, when you've done too much catch. And talk a little bit about you. Um, I asked like, well, how much does your, because you were doing, uh, you did 200 miles an hour ball speed and you were swinging in the 130s. I said, well, after a speed training session, how much does your right arm hurt? Because I know that you you uh, threw your arm out. I have no. Really I don't have the UCL, so I need Tommy John surgery. So in baseball, you threw your arm out mm -hmm. bad. You were a. I was a pitcher. Craig Kimbrell style short pitcher. Yeah. I was throwing gas. I threw pretty hard. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I don't have the ligaments that run through here. Yeah. But how much does golf hurt my arm? It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. So I can swing. You know, I can make a hundred driver swings as hard as I can and it doesn't hurt. So let's do this. I'm just gonna, you're gonna hit one. We're getting closer. Slightly better. So if I'm working on this, Milo, what are some ways, because feel and real are so difficult, what are some ways I can start to feel this change from extend and throw to flex and rotate? Well, I would like to see the the shot shape you're hitting change. Okay. That would be the first clue. Yeah, yeah, externally. So I would like to see the shot shape, nothing going left. Okay. Start straight, then stay Start in the air straight, and fade right. Start straight, go right. Healed it. But it's still drawing, so. If it hits the heel and draws, we know we would have hooked it. Okay. Oh, a center face shot would have hooked. That would have been a hook, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to make you... I'm doing terrible. Closer. Yeah, it was closer, but it's still a draw. Overdraw. Okay, what are you going to have me do? So I want you to feel on the backswing less of this. Uh huh. So we're going to feel... A little bit more oh, yeah. toe up, mm -hmm. and then I want you to feel like from from here we're now going to feel like we're going to swing this golf club with an open face back that way. Yeah. So you're going to feel like you're going to throw that club into the trees behind you. So this is something I've been working out with the irons and having like really good success as far as fixing my takeaway. I did a video mm -hmm. about this. So we said, you and I, when we were talking here, it's like to feel like the knuckles are staying back. And yep. for me, I have to feel like my chest is keeping the knuckles back rather than like uh, forearm force keeping it back. So more like this, Milo? Yep. <sighs> okay. Couldn't hear the singing. Oh, no, no, I didn't put on the, oh. uh, that, but you'll see the graph here, what we'll be looking for here is how much it dips there. So it dipped under. So, so see this first part of my takeaway uh -huh. to like about P2 something, perfectly flat, very good. But then once it got about belt high, then I dipped and it extended. Dipped meaning I went into left wrist flexion. Yeah. <clears throat> really close, but I can't get it to start. Tight draw. Yeah, less of a dip there, so. That was a better backswing. 
And now what I want you to feel on the follow through side. Yeah. Is that up there? So backswing is leave this cup and then it goes up here. Okay. Yep. Follow now you're going to feel like you flex and start around the other way. Now I want you to feel like you're going to cut me in half with the golf club way over, way back here. So it's got to come this, this way. way. Mm -hmm. It's going to feel that exaggerated. Yeah, it yeah, it gotcha. won't be. Like this. Yes. Okay. I'll uh, try to lower the speed here and hit yeah, one. Just... Feeling like that. It's a one yard draw. Yeah, basically straight. Yeah, that's really good. I never even got into flexion there. Stayed in a slight bit of extension because I never got below that line. Yeah. What's the loft on that driver? Uh, it's pretty low. It's like probably eight. More loft. Keep this cupped going back here, change directions, and then samurai sword this guy in half right yep. there. <clears throat> I thought I was going to slice that 30 yards. And it cut just barely. You yeah. blocked it a hair to the right, but it didn't hardly cut. Now really feel, you gotta get the left side of your rib cage out of the way so you've got room to make the club go over there. Yeah, I feel like I need something, Milo, right here to give me more of a green light to just turn like I was doing on those, uh, those irons. Do you see something here that would, that would give me more I see you, I see you drop and start to jump. Okay. Really early. Yeah, feel like you stay tall going all the way up and then that, there you go. So you're tall all the way to the finish of your, your wind up. Good. Do that nice and smooth. There you go. That was a golf course shot. That was really good. That was your best one. That was a pull and a half yard draw. Yeah, you pulled but it in the left side of the five fairway. yards yeah. and it drew a hardly was, curve. Yeah, you, you teach me uh, what okay. you're feeling. That way you know if it's been retained at all. Okay, so what I'm feeling is from here to here, I'm, I have so much energy in my swing that this cup is being held by my chest rotation rather than me just like, say, leave the chest there and freezing the wrist there. So I'm doing that. And then here, I'm going more up this way rather than, because sometimes I'll go here, but then it'll still tuck that way in transition. So I'm going to be up like this. So like that for a back swing. Then from here, and I'm tall. Then from here, I'm going lower, and I feel in my mind that I'm staying low rather than going lower and, and jumping right away. Staying low. Around the corner, then if there's a, uh, a mannequin made of soft cheese, I'm just going to cut right through them like that. Okay. Okay. Good picture. And I'm going to feel a bit of a cut, actually a little bit more than a bit of a cut just on the uh, good side of a slice. Okay. Oh, so, really close. Well, it went dead straight. It didn't cur it cut one yard. Yeah. Okay, good. And it went between the, po the poles out there. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Good. So, should we see what the numbers look like? Yeah, let's go get, uh, let's get your track man and let's see what the numbers are like because now the, that the pattern's good, we can start working on some speed. <laughs> hey, we hit a nice power cut. Yeah, it was good. And then it got to the apex and then fell to the right. Yeah, that was a good shot. So that was 161. That was your fastest that ball speed of the day. That felt so smooth and slow. It's that surprising. That was the fastest one you've hit so far today. Yeah, yeah. And, and you carried it what was the what was, the what was the smash of that? That one was 1.48. Yeah, that's great for me. Okay, great. If you guys are interested in seeing this entire video, which took a very long time to make because I hit about a billion shots, um, go to the, hit the, the join button below. A lot of people are having a lot of fun with that, putting up all the raw footage as well as a lot of exclusive videos. Haven't had any complaints. And then go over to MiloLinesGolf.com and use the promo code BeBetterMilo, I believe. But make sure because it's, it'll be in the description below. And become a member of Milo Lines Golf. Milo is doing a golf school this week with uh, members from his school. And uh, people are making great progress over there. And I'm a member as well. He, pu he puts up a lot of cool stuff there. And you get a discount if you use that promo code below. All right, we're, you hit the subscribe button now because we're going to be going out on the course and playing golf and uh, capturing a lot of cool stuff out there. Bye.